rock band of the 70s what an awesome bass player this starts off with a great bass line it's dancing in the moonlight not dancing in the moonlight the cover by top loader that i did a little while ago on this channel but the classic rock song by thin lizzy it starts off with with phil Lynott's amazing bass line really really simple but it's groovy and you can play it on guitar and you can incorporate the chords i'm going to take you through the great guitar solo as well further down through the lesson um, show you how to do that note by note but in the meantime this is kind of a finger style arrangement for this song because it's really groovy it's a really really groovy song and it's quite simple it uses some open strings to good effect I'll show you how it's done our bass line is in the key of E or E minor our bass line starts on this B second fret A string when you hit that note that E second fret D string Try and incorporate the first few strings out of an E chord, E minor chord. Not too many strings, just add mainly that, that low E, that low bass note, like that. You can kind of fill out this riff and have it sound good on a guitar. So like this. Same with the C chord, when you land on the C note there, Try and add that third note, the second second fret D string there, out of your C chord. Do it again. Ends on those triplets on the on the E kind of power chord there. Then we move into. The verse. Now the verse is very simple, it's actually the same chords as the chorus, more or less. E minor, which you can use up here on the 7th fret, and it kind of works for the riffs that I'm going to show you in a minute. Also because it's got that nice open E string which you can use to fatten it out a little bit. So you go E minor, and I'll show you the rhythm in a sec, D, C, G. But we do usually do riffs over that G chord, right? So as a, as a finger style rhythm, or as a strumming rhythm as well, you're going chord, percussive note, chord. And then a couple of little extra notes there if you want to add them in. So you're, you're going. Now on your tab, I've kind of put the up strums in using the higher notes of a chord and the normal strums or the, or the finger plucking strums are the notes without that high E string in them, or the chords without that high E string in them, rather. So I hope that makes sense, but follow it closely and you'll see what I mean. D. Going down the D, don't worry about that top E string because it's hard to articulate that fifth fret note. Same with the C chord, don't worry about the top E string very much. When you go to the G, the guitar actually plays these little fills. So that that progression, E minor, D, C, G, goes through the verse four times. Now on your chart, I've got four different endings because at the end of each one of those four run-throughs of that chord progression, you do a different little fill. First one. Now, if you're playing it with your fingers, you can play your thumb on the G string or if you're just strumming it, just go. And because you're right there on the seventh fret, that's a D shaped chord sitting on the seventh fret. 
which is part of your um, G triad up there. So, but it lets you get back to that E minor really quickly. So. again. This is the second time. The third time through. On a fourth time through you just go to the G and then to the B minor. If you've got time, pass through that, that D chord on the way up, but it doesn't matter if you don't have to do that. You go. And the chorus is the same chords. You got me in spotlight. It's alright, it's alright. After that first one, you really don't need to spell out that D chord. On this long hot summer night. First chorus is quite short, and you go back into that. Then it winds through verse number two done exactly the same way another chorus and then after that second chorus we go back into the intro then it's the solo now the solo is over these chorus and verse chords what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down that solo for you now but these are the chords I'm going to play underneath it just E minor D C with no accents G and I'll do it a little bit slowly so I can do it properly and you can kind of follow it without too much trouble. One, two, three, four. say about that solo just the very last phrase at the end uh, it's it's kind of tricky I'm not entirely sure what he's doing here but the best I can make out is um, a really fast little bend either here on the 12th fret B string or if you like um, the 16th fret G string but it goes up and down really really quickly in the space of that that much time I think the best way to play it here, or the easiest way for me to play it at least, is reach over to the 16th fret G string, pull it down twice really quickly, and then get back to the 15th fret on the B string. So you go. And then the last note, you hit there on the 17th fret E string and bend it up a whole step. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. It's on the tab. Hopefully that's helpful to you. So after the solo finishes it goes back into a chorus and it just repeats that chorus pretty much out until the fade out and that's the end of the song. Great song, fantastic song. There are heaps of, of really good songs by Thin Lizzy. I'm probably going to do some more on this channel but that's always been one of my favorites so thanks for watching and we'll see you here again soon.